So we will start adjusting this sensor part of that and for the high poly, you don't have to worry about this uh, thing and from here I just need to extrude that out. So now we can just see this shape of this. So what are the details are required? Uh, I can just start adding on the top of it. Okay, so first let's give a little bit of thickness for that. So go for this polygon. Shell, uh, we can just extrude that. So go for shell. Okay, so how much thickness you want for this, you can just give a little more thickness for this. And we just start uh, adding this part only. So whatever this uh, stick is there, so that you can also make it as a separate thing and we can attach it for the high poly. So just make a little more thick, you don't have to make from the same shape. And a little bend you want to do, you can just do it. So let's work on this again, this shape. So can just use again cylinder. Okay, and reduce the number of segments for this. So I just keep it eight and this one. And for this also, right click object properties, make it C3. So now go for poly, go for vertex, make this scale now. Okay, so while doing this model, what you can do is you can just delete this part. So front part if you don't require, so it is easy we can extrude and make this shape. Go to the border, select this and then you start adjusting, so shift and drag it. So where it is to be little thick, so press R, scale it, shift and drag, press R, scale it down. Okay, so that will go inside that and it has to extend till this end of this. So we can just hide this for now. So I can just hide this one. And I can still extend this over here in this point. So if you want to still uh, select this border now, select this polygon, select this border. borders so like this one start extruding this scaling it down and you start moving this one so till where you can just make this Just to get that details over here till this point where it should be. Let's make it smaller size. Open this. Okay, so a little bit you can just start just a vertex now. So it has to go inside this. So you can just start pushing that everything, select everything. It has to go. And little up, so let's take this. Okay, so you can attach whatever the things you want. So all the other things, if you want to use as a texture, uh, you want to use something as the texture part. You can just use that as a texture only. 
Okay, so that other details we can just use as a fixing all this small small detail, or if you want to model it again, you have to use the cylindrical shape and start modeling that all this detail. So even if I just want to make this part again, I have to add some cylindrical shape, and you can just still add. Uh, okay, so what I'll do is I'll just take and attach both of this together. So let's attach it. And adjust this. So before attaching it, I can just can just select this layer, and I'll just collapse everything, collapse all, and apply some kind of bend deformer for this. So bend, and I can just change this angle, the direction of this, and which axis it has to bend. So go to the gizmo. Let's adjust and rotate this gizmo. So, how this leaf you want it like this, or you want to bend it down this direction? So, here also we have something called lower limit and upper limit. So that also can be adjusted. So limit, and if you just start to adjust this for you, or only this part also you want to adjust it. So we can adjust this lower limit and upper limit inside this case. So if you don't want this and upper limit, you can just make it more down. So if you do give some kind of smoothness also for that, it will be good. So if you give some kind of smoothness also, it will be fine. Okay. So if you attach it and do, so it will work on both the sides. So make it as if it was poly. So bend the formula will affect both the things. Attach, and attach it, and then you do the bend the formula on the top of it, and just change this angle, change y, rotate the gizmo. So how you want? So in the negative direction you want. So Okay, so limit effect, and you can both both the things are zero only. So you can just change that limit effect for you. How much you want? Little bit value, or I can also change that. So if limit effect is having an issue, go to the gizmo, and then you start changing that. So I want this at this point, certain point only. Okay, so that is what. You can. And one more, I want the bend deformer in this direction also. So you can add one more bend deformer. So bend, just add one more bend deformer. Now go to this gizmo. So which direction you want? So you can x change the angle of this, and it should be up. Okay. So this is what we have this uh, leaf for that, and we have this nice option. So once you are done, now you can just give. Collapse everything, and I can just give some kind of turbo smooth on the top of it. So go for turbo smooth, and let's see this. So now go to object properties, right click object properties, see through switch off. Okay, so this is what we have. This is like high poly. Kind of things, and if you want to add some more segments or something, you have to add. You can still work on it. So with render iteration two. Yeah. Okay. So this is what will be the high poly, and the details we can add it with the texture part also, and this is going out. So make sure that you go to the vertex. So I give the turbo smooth. So that is what it is happening. You can just see this. Our text which is over here, so you can go to edit, edit poly. No, I don't require this vertex, so I can just delete that option. Okay, so this is what we have the high poly uh, model of that, and now we'll just work on the low poly of uh, model of that. So if you have like this. So to create a low poly version of this uh, model, so we already have the leaf, and I can take the transparency from this leaf itself. So when you are making the low poly version of it, you can just use some kind of plane. So 
So you don't use too much of this job matrix. I can just use some kind of plane. For here, go to this editable poly. So go to the vertex. Now I can just start matching it over here. Press W. This can be here. Okay, so the number of segments also, if you want to adjust it over here, see even this shape, you need to match it, so you can just select everything and just pull that out. Pull this up, even this. And we'll be creating different maps uh, today, so we'll be just creating the specular and different maps over here to match that. So let's start adding it first. And this is the thing which you need to unwrap it. And just place that this time. So this covering both the things and we have it. Okay, so here also if you want to reduce the number of segments now, uh, we can just start reducing. So if you feel that number of segments are more, uh, for this object. So we can just combine all this thing together over there. So we can just do that. So let's fix this now. And this is the low poly and go for unwrap. Unwrap this one. And let's fix this. So open this UV editor and it is just a planar map what you have to apply for this. So open UV editor. Select everything. Take the So that's the thing which will be there. Okay, so we have this. This will be the like low, and this will be high poly. And if you want to get the shape of that, you can still get the shape of this. If you want to uh, want to adjust anything from this leaf, so you can just go to hold here, yes, go to the vertex, and this is also fine. Uh, or if you want to get the same shape, that is also fine. So it will add more number of segment as I move or adjust it. So if I want to adjust this, press R and it will it will be adjusted like this. More number of segment will add. So it is better. Just keep like this. Unwrapping is already done. Okay, so now we need to start creating the maps for this uh, object now. So the, this mesh is So we already have the UVs. And if you want to bake something uh, with this low and high poly, you can just try baking it inside Marmoset. And then I'll just start doing the texturing for that. So we'll just have this. So this you export. It's not selected. Make sure that it's not. Okay, now let's export this. So export, export selected. This you export as leaf low. So I can export as OBJ now. So I'll export. So this is, since it is a single object, it is fine if you export it as leaf low. Export, then I could have named that also. And this is the leaf file. Okay, so whatever this high poly mesh is there, so if you can do more details, you can give it. So I'll then go to export and export that as a leaf file. And this I'll just overwrite again. File export selected, and that will be leaf flow. Then I'll just open one more set. Okay, 
Let's import now. Go to file import. So both the models in this package import is desktop and import is desktop. Okay, so take it now. So add a text project. So add hi. And here we will make it 16x occlusion normals and those two maps are fine now and 2k resolution is the texture for us and let's export it let's break that okay, so this is the render and take one ok so output path I need to choose so let's name it as leaf So normals, now if I just go to this leaf uh, normal. Okay, so this is what it has applied on the top of it. So if you want to check that uh, baking of that over here, so let's see this and we want to adjust something. If you want to adjust the offset of that, so here we we'll test that. Okay, so we have this minimum offset and maximum offset option also. So using that, uh, we can just try and check that over here, so how that offset will look inside this. This is what we get now. So again, uh, if I just press Ctrl D, so we can just try checking that over here. Okay, so down point it is not seen, so you need to make sure that you select that uh, low poly mesh over here. And here we have something called back test. Okay, so just click on that and you can just see this down part also. Okay, so we have some of these shapes for that and now if you just want to take this. Uh, we also have the occlusion pass, we can also take the occlusion now. Uh, but uh, this thickness, there is no thickness for this particular leaf. So that's why we are seeing this uh, object over here like this. So if there is some kind of thickness, it will be much smoother. So I, when you are doing with that, you can directly also do. So let's check this. So what I can adjust it inside this mesh over here. So you need to make sure that this low poly is little higher than that. So edit. Let's go for edit poly. And go for this vertex. And you can just start adjusting this little up. Select this little up. It should be just there which will be touching that particular. And just export this again. So file export, export selected. So low poly again. Export done, export done. And reload that uh, leaf over here. So we have this leaf just there. So we can just import again that model. Reload. And it is inside the same. Okay, so now if I just want to uh, drag and drop this. Control D. Just time check. Okay, so go for leaf now again. So leaf normal. And now it is fine. Okay, so we got this uh, proper uh, thickness and whatever that if there are some details. So that is what we need to adjust that low poly has to be little up and it should be very close to the high poly model. So then only it will bake properly and now we have this kind of uh, model which is there. So if a normal map is also good, so you can just see this normal maps we have and we also have the occlusion map, import that occlusion, load that AO map also. So we have two maps, so it will export it, 
leaf a o which is gives this nice soft shadows for us okay uh, so now we have this uh, two maps which we have done normal map and this again we have this as a occlusion map so now what i'll do is i'll just go into photoshop but uh, before going into that uh, we need to make sure that you see that unwrap of that so open unwrap immediately and let's open that UV editor and this has to be exported to Photoshop. Go to mapping tools render UVW template and what is the size we took Becky 2048. Let's save that. So render UVW template and go to file, save as stop and this is leave. Change the format PNG save. Okay, so now this is done. I can just open Photoshop. First open the UVs, then open the ambient occlusion for that. Even uh, whatever the leaf are there, if you, if you want to give the details also and then bake it, all these details also I can give it and bake it. So this is what. See all these details also if you want to model it inside max and give the details even that you can give it. So you need to model separately all these things uh, over here. So I'll just show that. So just let's see this. Leave this here. Okay, so let me just open now, open. And uh, I just go for desktop, and we have something called the. So first you import the UVs. Now create a new layer. Just put the filler right and fill in black. And this is your UV layer. So name it as UV. And I'll just import that AO pass. So normal. It's also. Just open this normal map. Click AO and click normal. Open both the files. Okay, so now if, if I just open this leaf normal, so control E, control C, and paste it here, control V. And if you want to change and check that, so we can just check it over here. So if I just bring this, so this is how we have that. Okay, so now again AO plus I ambient occlusion. So I can just open this control A, control C, we go to this layer, control V. So we have ambient occlusion also. Now uh, we can create some kind of map from this uh, image. So we already have this now. So if you want to create some kind of transparency map, uh, you can also create an alpha map from this. We already have this. So we can just go for this is the leaf uh, which we have and I think this, this is good to create any kind of uh, transparency map. Okay, so to create the transparency map, again I can just uh, do the selection of this. So go for any kind of selection tools. Or you can just uh, do the selection. I think you can use this. Object selection. So just check that whether it will select that. This is this. This done nicely. So we have done the selection and I just create a new layer. So that will be like opacity map and fill with white. And whatever is backside, select inverse, fill with black. Okay, so this will act like an alpha map or transparency map. So inside our mosaic. And I'll just show this. So go to save as. Let's export this. Go to file, export. Now export as PNG. And let's save this as a transparency map. So inside Marmo set we have different maps what we have seen, and this is this leaf transparency. If you want to 
test that over again. Uh, so we can just come down. Here we have something called transparency. So if I just click on that, cut out, and open that map over here. Let's load leak transparency. Okay, so now it is nothing is happening over here. Uh, so we need to change this channel and check that. So once I change the channel over here to red channel, we can just see this is now, now having the transparency. So we will have that over here and we have all this depth of information also over here. So now we just see this. Okay, so we got the transparency of that and with this some uh, details of the normal map as well over here. Now we just start creating this uh, different map. So we got the transparency also. We have this occlusion. So now, if you just want the leaf texture to be added, so open that whatever the reference which we have it. So we have this. So just check that if it is matching that or here. What is the size? Just drag and drop this. Again, just do the selection. Just to control C, let's go for this layer. Create a new layer, control V. Let's switch out this. So this I think it is too small. Uh, if I try to scale that again, it will be an uh, issue. So this is what we have, and let's check this. This means this on the top. Okay, so this, if I try to scale this, like you will have the problem with that uh, texture size. So what you can do is you can just scale it and if you want to paint that on the top of it, you need to paint it and just paint. Let's see this, how much it will work. Okay, press enter. So like this now you can go to edit, transform, and you have this warp tool. So you can just start adjusting this using this warp tool. Bring it down, start fixing it over here. You can still add this to this guy. Anyway, we have defined the transparency map. So this will act like diffuse or something uh, which we have that press enter. Okay, so all these places you need to adjust this uh, shape. So you can just use the same layer, create a new layer, use some kind of clone stamp clone, click from this layer, and let's fix it. Up. It will be below that. Okay, so anyway, it is going to go below this layer, and uh, whatever it is to be covered, we can just start covering it. Push it inside. So, a little bit, it's fine. Or you can also do the selection of that and push it. So, uh, this way you can do, or if you want to extend that, you can also select like this this part from the texture. And go to this layer, control T, and you can just start pushing that over here. Press enter, control T. Okay, so that is one more thing, and here we can just uh, fine tune that texture. Go for this, reduce the size of this, hold on, and then start. People should not see that cut over there. Okay, so this is your diffuse. Uh, so what you can do is then just hide everything. So go to file, export, and save it as albedo. Go there. So leaf albedo. And we need to create the normal maps also from this and specular also from the same thing. So again. Let's open this and let's check that. So we already have this and we need to choose that albedo. Click on this. Go for leaf albedo. So 
will have that same uh, thing over there. Okay, so now it is looking, uh, yeah, there is something which you need to find, remove that completely. So this part, we need to clean it up. So we can just go for this some kind of patch tool also. Patch. To come for this patch tool, I can just select this whole region. Just bring it out here and try to clean it. Okay, so still we have something. Let us start adjusting that. Start cleaning this. Okay, so just select this part and want to remove it. So again there are two options, source and destination. If I click on this destination, I can move this point up. Okay. So source means it will clean that and this is the destination. So I just want to clean this out now again. So again go to source. So start cleaning that out. Any patches must be the same. So start cleaning this again. Here. Okay, so we have done this export again. And we'll just create different maps now. So we'll just create specular map also. Uh, and we'll just also go to these hundred of save that. And let's check that out. So now we need to create the specular and roughness map for this. So, so we go to Photoshop. Again, create an adjustment layer. First, we make it hue saturation and reduce the saturation further. So, once I reduce this, now we have this color on the top of it. And you want to adjust some levels, you can also go to the levels. Start adjusting this levels for the roughness map. And go to file, export, export as PNG, and save that as the roughness. Roughness, load that map out here. So, roughness map, click on this and load that leaf roughness. Okay, so now we can just see this how, how the specularity is working. Okay, so which place it has to come, we can also invert that map over here. So if I just go to Photoshop now, so I need to invert this map, you can just go over here and click on this invert. Okay, so once I invert that, you can also invert inside uh, Mosaic also. So I can just save this and I'll just show you what happens when we invert that. Now this is the proper specular highlights which you are seeing it on the top of it. See this? Okay, so how much amount of that roughness you require, now you can just see that. So if I just try to adjust inside this the levels, so if I just move the levels on the top and this is what the levels which is doing. Now if I do like this, so what will happen is it will be more shiny. Again go to file, export, export as PNG. And let's go for... And let's check this. So now you see this. Okay, so that is what we need to check it, how we want to create that maps over there. So where you want the specular highlights, where you don't want the specular highlights, so if it is too much, very high, you can also reduce this. So you don't want that much specularity. Adjust that levels, then export it. So again, export as PNG, and this, that's what we need to check it uh, inside. This. So let's export, yes. And then you check, and this looks fine. Okay. So we have created some metalless mode be there for this. So we will have only the normal, we will have 100 o, we have roughness, occlusion and alpha. 
Okay. So here, if you feel that this occlusion is not good and you want to create some occlusion map for, uh, inside Photoshop. Uh, so what we will do is we will just enable the occlusion also. So I don't want to invert that over here. So let's switch off this invert. This also. And I'll just create the occlusion map for this. Okay, by just adjusting that uh, hue saturation. And I just need to add this little bit of more levels for this. So go to levels. Increase the amount of levels over here. And inside this hue saturation, lightness to increase it. So now I will get this uh, occlusion also. So when I increase the lightness and if you just try to blend it, so go for this and try to blend with this multiply, then we, this is what we will get as an occlusion. I can use that as an occlusion pass. So whatever is dark, you will see the shadow. If you want to blur also, you can blur it. Let's export that, export as. And so one more details we are not seeing, so we need to adjust the normal map also. So this is leaf KO. And what is one more detailed map I need to blend with this normal map is over here. So I can just switch off everything. So make it black. Let's switch on this only normal maps. And I'll just open that one more uh, albedo. And I need to create a normals because we are not seeing any kind of details inside the leaf. So we have to open that normal map. So go for leaf albedo. Okay, so from this I just need to create normal. So go to filter, 3D, generate normal map. Now all these details I want to be seen on the leaf. Uh, so previously all these details are not seen on the leaf. So let's create this detailed map. That's okay. Now I got this leaf normal. So I just press Ctrl A, Ctrl C. Go to this leaf, control V, and inside this you can change this blending mode also. So you can go for overlay. Okay, so overlay you can just change it and you can just see that. So this detail will come inside this normal map now and save that as a normal. So export, export as PNG, leaf normal. And let's check that. Okay, so previously it is black, so I just want to go for this normal map and go for leaf. Normal. Now you see this. So it is having nice depth also. So if I just go closer, uh, if this is off, so it is adding that depth because of this normal map. And now we have it. And you need to add a little bit of ambient occlusion also for this. So let's load this AO. And we have created that AO map from that leaf, so let's go and create this AO as well. So we will see the soft shadows inside this. Okay, so that's what it will work. Now we have all the uh, maps over here, so we have created this one leaf inside this. Let's go to the move tool. Just a control. Okay, so the same leaf you can just have multiple times. So if I just have a copy of it, so let's right click duplicate. So this here we just want to rotate. You can also rotate that over here. Move it. You can just have all the uh, different leaves inside the same. Places, so different different places. So one more stain we have to make it. So you can just have duplicate copies of that. So I did duplicate, and still we can just go to the rotation. So here we have a transform, rotation, scale. So if you want to reduce the size of this little smaller, and then you want to rotate, then you want to move that somewhere over here. Proper place rotation, press E. 
Okay, so anything which you want to make this like kind of leaves or something, so this is how we can just make that. We can just still duplicate uh, multiple copies of that and wait for the plant which is coming out. You want to rotate it straight, just rotate that straight and then start press W, start placing that rotation. So the placement is to work here. Okay. Again, duplicate, again you can just add it. So, uh, whatever this, right click, duplicate. Just start rotating this now in a different place. And just check that. Rotate. Rotate like this. Press W. Then rotate. Just try fixing it all the time and let's see where it is. Okay, so another model you have to make it uh, some cylindrical shape and that you can use it for stemming. You can see that. So, any pot is there and you have that uh, leaf and you have some flower also, so you can just start adjusting that and start arranging it over here and look so multiple. Okay, so if you are adjusting the pivot point in a proper place uh, inside Max, so it will be easy. So you can adjust it in a proper place. Here it is difficult. So some will be more smaller in size. So as it goes up, it will be more smaller in size. The leaf. Okay. Okay, so any doubts in this? Transparency map and any of this maps, you have any that doubt here? No. Clear? So, if you are creating from any kind of environment also, so for that, it also if you want something like this, you can just use that. So, we have this thing which is working. Okay, so anything like pot you make it and then you want to import that pot over here. Okay. So that is the main thing. Uh, the low poly should properly uh, overlap on the top of it. Okay. So if you, if it is like too far away, the also the baking won't come proper. So if it is too close also, that baking. So it should overlap properly on the top of it to get that proper unwrapping. Okay, so these are the different maps for the leaf which will be creating and if I want to go for this, there is one more thing called transmission. Since uh, this is a leaf object, it will also have the property of subsurface scattering or we call it as transmission. So it, light will pass through it. So we need to enable this transmission also. So click on this. Here you can just see there are different options. Thin surface, subsurface sc scattering or refraction. So for the leaf, it will be subsurface scattering. Let's see this. Okay. So if I just put some kind of light, it will scatter that over here. So you can also add some kind of map for that. So let's add some kind of light and see this how it works. Right click, light. If I just add some omni light. Yeah, so now you can just see that it is having that scattering. This is how the leaf will be, right? So it will scatter wherever the sunlight is there. Uh, from that, it will scatter it over here. So you can just place it something which will work here. So you will see that. Closer the light, you will see the scattering part. So just fix it over here. Just fix it over here. And if I just see from the down, you will see that. Okay. So that property is called subsurface scattering or I am seeing the shadows also for that other leaf. Okay. 
So here we can adjust the scattering depth over here. So how much scattering depth? So if I just increase, now you see that. So if it is uh, totally over here, it will be a sharp shadow. Okay. So that scattering depth will allow us to do that. And we can also apply some map also over here. Okay. So if you want to apply some kind of map, uh, we can also make it. Suppose if I just choose something over here that we have already created. So whatever this black part is there, so we have EO and this one, light roughness. Again, start. So if I switch it up, so you can also create some kind of maps also, black and white map you can create, uh, mask map also you can create, so let's use this mask map. So where it should scatter and where it should not scatter. So let's use that as a mask, invert it. Let's see that. So this is the scatter set. Yeah. So now I can see this. Okay, so light amount is too much. Okay. So that map you have to create for this scatter map or you just enable that sur surface scattering for this leaf so it will affect the whole leaf. For grapes, grapes will have subsurface scattering. What are the other things which have the subsurface scattering? What are the other things are there? What other things you see subsurface scattering? Skin. Skin will have to. If you try to put some parts behind your hand, you can see that. Paper. Then? Curtains. Curtains will have blinds, whatever you keep, that will have subsurface scattering. Uh, so when you are doing the environment, so keep that in mind. If it is a cloth, cloth will also have that property. So if you put the light, it will scatter. So that you need to keep in mind when you are doing the texturing, what are the maps you need to create. So if it is some kind of cloth texture, you have to make sure that subsurface scattering is on for that. If leaf you are creating, make sure that that is on for that also. Okay. So either you need to create the map or just enable that and you can just see that. Okay. So if it is different, different materials, different maps you need to create. So since it is not any having any kind of metallic properties, we don't have to create metal lens. Okay. So if it contains that metallic property, you create that. If it is having some refraction properties also, you need to create that. Here we have some refraction. So glass, if you are creating and you have some kind of uh, texture to be added on the glass, so we can also use that refraction properties there. So if I just show that. See this what will happen if I do the refraction for it. Your class? It's done. Okay. Now I added a refraction for this. So now it will behave like some kind of glass object. So we can just see that the scattering of that refractive index of this how much. So how much we want to add the refractive index for this? We can use that density of that. So it is having that transforming properties of that glass. Okay, so, so what attribute we want? We want subsurface scattering. So you see the difference. The light is below. Light is below that and we want to see that light how it looks. Change the brightness of this. And if I just change the color of that light also, so we have that it is in this color, so if I just want to change it more duplicate. Want to bring below this. So if you want to change something, let's start adding it also. 
No start fixing it. In this, if you just want to change some color or variation of the shape, it will be more obvious. Try this. Uh, you have to try that leaf uh, model. You try it all the textures. So today's class, if you practice today, you will remember it. Otherwise, this part will totally forget when you do your manual yet. So just do that small small things, and then you can just start. Or you want to create some kind of plant pot, and you want to create that. You just try doing this. With the whole uh, pot will be there with the whatever the sand texture or whatever the texture of the land and then you mud and all these things you can try on that so create full scene and if you want to create flower also so for flower also each petal will be in a separate separate plane and then you rotate it so it is like this like single no? so it is like each will be in a separate separate plane so plane you have to create a multiple copies of the plane so you will get that rose petal kind of so try you try flower and leaf both. So just work on that. Let me know any doubts if you have.